And we are back with another installment of High School Hoops. The 4-0 Shy Prep going up against the Tigers of Gary Prep. I'm stoked for this one. How about you? Trust and believe I'm ready. Buckle in, y'all, because it's showtime. As you see the pest-like defense from Shy Prep, that seems to be this team's identity, something Coach Q Rich likes to describe as controlled chaos. Can't you tell? Controlled chaos sounds like the perfect word for the defense I'm seeing from Shy Prep tonight. I mean, they Oh! Man, look at him. He's just out there dancing on him. Just just dancing. Well, that's what he does. Sophomore guard Hezekiah Bird Smith is nothing short of electric. Just rocking the defense to sleep for three. Bang! Just a pure one from deep there by junior guard Julian Bates. Swings it to Hezzy. Hezzy pump fake cross using that screen there from Coleman. Skipping through that lane for oh, the yellow step. Here's Junior Dornell locking at 5'8". He is described by his peers as the heart of this team. No joke, especially on the defensive end. Okay, I see you, little fella. Here is Daniels. Step back. Bang! It is just a massacre out here. Shy Prep is putting a real beating on these Tigers. Man, they gotta do something. They out here getting beat like they stole something. Once again, they're on the break, and I'm thinking showtime. Tell you. Oh, on that man forehead. And there it is, Gary Prep of Indiana did not stand a chance in this one as Shy Prep advances to 5-0 with this 92-55 victory. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a top team in the country by the end of the year. But that's it for us. Get home safe. To handle the business our first handful of games we now head out on our first of many trips this season good old las vegas now last time i was here y'all know i went stupid in the pangos camp and this time we here at the tarkanian classic getting ready for some high level competition all weekend now i'ma keep it real so far we've been putting whoopings on niggas so here's the test to see if we really like that Alright y'all, we are here back in Vegas, but this time here at the Tarkanian Classic. Now last time Hezzy was in this very building, he went off for an insane 50 point game, so underachieving in this one I don't think is an option. We starting this one with a little pick and roll per usual, I'm getting the rock up top, little pump face, skipping through the lane, hop step lay. Oh my goodness, come on now, they gotta foul me when I'm driving through the lane like that. What's the play, looking like a little screen coming from London, running that little pick and roll, I'm in the mid range and I'm throwing the bounce pass, was that three? bro legs we back with it on that break i'm trying to throw a little lob pass over the defense and they give me the weakest pass possible like come on why are y'all hating and look at this we can't even get back on defense we let this nobody just stroll through the lane moose with it working out in the mid-range little step back trying to get free he low-key in a box swinging it out there to julian and he bails us out there with that one from d you already know how i rock i'm 10 toes on that defensive end as you see me in the passing lanes coming up with it still by myself on the break and they gave me the weakest dunk possible come on now i'm trying to get turn tay walker here dropping baseline a little floater there no good great defense by yours truly london secures that rebound i'm dishing it out to my boy julian he working out there on the wing little behind the back lay he could have went up and got a foul but he wanted to get a little sauce in there they dishing it inside to tay walker he decides to go up with it. london sends it back they recovery but london gets the snatch block he's dishing it out to julian on that break he gets it inside to taj he's hitting a little step back in the mid range for that gas money they finally managed to get my boy Doobie in. He's hitting a little spin move step back there in the mid-range. Oh my goodness, everybody in they Duffy apparently. Julian got it up top with his badge. This first quarter coming to an end. He's got his man on the island driving that baseline step back and he gets it to go. I don't even know how, bro. He just ran right into traffic. We most definitely had great control there in that first quarter. So if we keep it up, they got no chance whatsoever. But I guess he heard me with that response from deep. Bro got it over at the wing. Julian guarding him on the island. He's calling 
opening up that illegal screen. Like, come on, ref, you gonna blow your whistle, bro? He didn't even make an effort to get set, bro. They swinging it over to their point guard. He's dishing it inside to Sanchez, and London is hacking the shit out of this man. He got a whole ass flagrant. Like, come on, bro. Why are you, why are you doing that, bro? I know he big and buff, and he bullying you, but it, you don't gotta do all that, bro. Y'all see, I got that thing on me. I'm trying to go crazy. I'm calling up that screen from Jordan. The help defender didn't stand a chance. I'm going up, taking the contact for the end one. Yep, go ahead, reset me. I'm still trying to go crazy. I still got that thing on me. I'm skipping through the lane for the one-handed dunk all over that man head. Come on now, don't jump with me. Jordan Davis with it, getting loose, pulling up there from deep, no good, but Tay Walker is there with the offensive rebound, cleaning it up. I guess that's what happened when you don't box out. That's my fault. Coach said, you not gonna box out. Your ass is sitting on the pond. He subbed me out as soon as he got that and one, and look at this, just making my boy Doobie look like baby food. I wouldn't have allowed that to happen, bruh. Doobie with it, trying to break free from Tay Walker, pulling up there for that close jumper, no good. Alexander securing that rebound, and they're pushing it on that break. He served there in the defense, and he sees Tay Walker there for that easy lay. My boy Doobie bringing it down once again, hitting a little spin move, pulling up in the mid-range. Is he acting out of character, or is that have been in his bag, bro? Look at this, gotta set a million screens just to free this nigga up. Tay Walker pulling up there from deep, and he cashes it in. Hey, if I had a million screens set for me, I would cash it in as well. Moose getting that screen there from London, pulling up for a deep ass two. Like, come on, get your toe behind the line. But there is London cleaning it up with that back scratcher dunk. They has given me a rough go on these PNRs. I'll give it to them. They playing great defense, but there go 2K once again, making me throw them weak ass passes. Like, come on, Sanchez pulling up there from the free throw line and he cashes it in. Julian got it in the corner waiting for that screen to come from London. He's lobbing it up. It didn't quite make it, but he still cleans it up there with that one-handed flush. Why can I see an open three coming? Look at this double screen, bro. I would do the same exact thing going against our bench because these dudes are horrific on the defensive side, bro. They point guard trying to make something happen here. Throwing a steamer inside. Didn't quite make it there because my man London is 10 toes and we on that break and that's how you throw a steamer right there. Easy lays. I don't know why, but my boy Sanchez is moving like Jokic. He bringing it down like he a point guard and shit and we just gonna keep leaving this dude open, bro. When we gonna realize that he is a sniper, bro? Stay on him. Shot clock running low and Doobie is still standing in the same exact spot. You deserve to get ripped right there. I ain't gonna lie, my boy. I, I don't mean to be all negative, but bro, what was that? And look at this. Y'all don't even get back on defense. Like, oh my goodness. Got a secure stop right here. We got these boys feeling extra confident when they shouldn't even be hanging with us for real. Like, look at this. Give me that shit. Put it down. Oh my goodness. Of course he gets his offensive rebound. It never fails. I'm using that top screen, charging at the defense. Go ahead, use that mismatch. What is this? What, what are you doing? He is 5'9". If you don't go bump down low, and they come up with a mismatch, Sanchez, big back ass. I'm gonna have to go ahead, give my boy some help, and pray they do not spank this one. Oh my goodness. Of course, he just laces it home. Like, we feed it inside to London for a mismatch of our own, and of course, he goes up with a jumper. Like, come on, can y'all please lock in as human beings? Why do y'all want to do some out of character shit when y'all got a 5'9 dude guarding you? They got it over at the wing, though, swinging it to Tay Walker. He takes some quick dribbles inside and finds the open man, and he laces that motherfucker. And of course, it's this dude, bro. The dude I was just talking trash about. He pointed at the crowd and shit. Nah, I cannot go for it. No question, we have fumbled in this fourth quarter like they is real life doing us in. But what you love to see is my boy Julian working out in the mid range. We still here. Yeah, go ahead, bump with me. Nah, don't call up this big back ass nigga to free you up, bro. I want you to bump with me personally. Shot clock running down, and there is the stop that we need. I'm gonna continue to let my boy Julian rock out because he's the hot hand. He goes up, finishing the tough lay over the rim badge. Like, come on now, he's in his Duffy right now. Jordan Davis pulling up there in the mid range. No good. Great defense there from Julian. I'm telling you, this man is pulling through. He is locked in on both ends. I get that screen there from Taz, though. Being patient. Peeping my boy Julian wide open in the corner. He didn't make that one. It's all right, bro. He been doing his thing. I'm not going to trip off of that. And they just running us. They are running us right now. No one's getting back. And Sanchez makes us pay. Dave taking the lead once again. And we have to respond if we want to stay in this one. And he's hella late to the help right there. Leaving my man Moose wide open. And he gets it to go. Sanchez in a hurry. Bringing it down himself. They need to come up with something. Little stop pop from deep. No good. He was feeling himself a little too much right there. I cannot lie. Let's slow it down. Get something nice and easy right here. I'm calling up that screen from Taj. He's rolling to that basket. And now lobbing it up. And he finishes it. I threw it a little late. Because I wanted to make sure that it got there perfectly. The shot clock is off. And we are up by two. Just need to secure one more stop to win this one. He's stepping back from close range. And it's stuff like that. That be having me thinking 2K is scripted. Like come on dog. It's all good though. The worst that can happen here is OT. 
and I don't think these dudes want any more minutes with us. And I'm hitting the back door, cut right there, and he has to foul me. Go on ahead, pack it up, my boy. You're gone. First one. We got it. Okay, 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 okay. Just need to hit two or two. Two or two, and they gonna have a tough go trying to get this game winner off. I cannot lie. And there it is, two or two, let's go. We've got five seconds left to go in this one, and we subbed in Doobie to strictly come up with this stop right here. He's trying to ISO my man on the island. He comes up with a great contest, and he misses the mid-range, and my boy Doobie is locked in, getting us our first win here in Vegas. I don't know, y'all let me know if y'all agree, but I really enjoy these realistic gameplays. Like, you don't see nobody going out for 50 or getting windmill posters every possession, but it's still pretty entertaining. But hey, that's just game one of two. We got another one coming up, and we trying to to leave Vegas undefeated. Game two of two and we've got an absolute movie coming up. Here up against Jalen Green's younger brother AJ Johnson and SoCal Academy along with some of y'all subscriber builds. We starting out the game right here with a little PNR toss setting me that screen. They're in the passing lanes there with that tip but he recovers it and floats it right over the defense there for that basket. Now we really finna put this man Hezzy's defense to the test here up against AJ Johnson. I'm there in the passing lanes and we off to the races. I see my man Tosh leaking out for that and one my boy julian trying to work out per usual little pass fake there coming off that screen into the smooth mid-range jumper we done came out steaming in this one a 7-0 run that started out aj johnson getting downhill with the tough lay though they done came up with a few stops here but it hasn't converted to buckets just yet julian pressing up on his man he's driving to the basket there for the tough and one lay dog if you don't just take this dude to the baja we keep running iso plays for this man taj but he insists on taking them contested ass mid-ranges i will never understanding and look at this not even getting back on defense we can't even get back on d bro and just like that it's a tie game ain't it crazy how that worked but i'm getting a little give and go there for that two-handed throw down all right bro let me just go ahead and get out your hands you've been dribbling in that same spot for a little too long i'm getting on the fast break with it for the hand wheezy hey if i had hezzy running full speed at me i would foul him as well i'm not trying to get put on ball his life i gotta do my thing with this play take but in other news my man jelani is getting absolutely sauced come on dog lock in i really gotta utilize this play take yeah, I know y'all hear that big word, utilize. Come on now. I set my man Taj up perfectly there on that screen and fade. And buddy right here really think he got the L's on me. Like, trust and believe you are not that guy. I'm hitting a little Reggie Miller push off there, pulling up for the jumper, nothing but net. Hey, I, me personally, I'm not allowing myself to get bitched like that. I promise you. Y'all know the drill. Go ahead, set me that screen. I'm weaving off the help defender, getting downhill for that little lay. We on the bench with it, and I'm praying this bench score I holds it down because I ain't going to lie, they did us nothing but a disservice last time. As AJ Johnson gets downhill, making my boy Sonny look a little down low. My boy London Big Back ass said he gonna take it himself. He tries to squeeze in the pass there to Taj. It didn't get there, but he gets it back for the and one. Hey, we'll take it. And this man AJ Johnson do not stop moving. He is running circles around Sonny. I am telling you, bro, he is doing my man in. Julian with it at the wing, trying to make some shake a little twin step back there in the mid range. I'm telling you, that is clockwork for my boy. We got AJ Johnson with it here once again. London guarding him. He's getting some basket and he is absolutely violating my mans why you have to put him in a body bag dog outlet go on there and throw that down i got one man to be little hop step lay oh my goodness that was tough oh yeah you already know my man doobie coming with the s tier clamps i'm closing out there and of course he hits it bro like who is this dude they bringing it down with this quarter coming to an end and of course he just throws the most excellent pass to the bucket getter that's what i'm gonna call bro the bucket getter because he was not intended to be good whatsoever but of course 2k just gonna make him come out here and give us work this quarter coming to an end though i got the bucket getter guarding me i'm trying to get free here at the buzzard i'm pulling up there for the fade away three and i'm getting it to go hey that's that's a great way to go into the second half i'm really trying to put the pressure on these boys i'm giving it up to julian he gives it right back there for that give and go dunk moose coming over trying to free me up i'm weaving behind that screen pulling up for the deep three and i'm getting it to go we are in full control right now you love to see it where where is this dude going i'm getting butt naked open there at the wing and i'm cashing in another three hey if this man has he's hitting threes you should be scared like bro what are we even doing at this point this 1960s ass spacing like come on now they really gotta do that just to get an open shot oh yeah i got you on the island my boy go on here hit me with your best shot oh my goodness he just hit me with something crucial bro i cannot lie he had bad intentions with that cross pool julian trying to rock on the mid-range little drag tween to the cross skimming through the lane for the tough and one my boy is on timing moose with it at the free throw line dishing it out to a wide open julian and you should already know that she 
get his cast. My boy is on fire. Oh, yeah. Lock that up. Great defense there from Moose. He's coming up with the steal. Got one man to beat driving baseline with it going up. And we are collecting another and one. Todd pushing it up court by himself. The ball gets plugged, but he still manages to split the defense there. Taking a contact for the tough lane. They trying to come up with an answer here. We've been in control this entire second half. And there is AJ Johnson with a quick trigger. I ain't even get a chance to put a hand up, dog. Go ahead, swing that over here. Let me hop in my Duffy. It's bag talk time. Little step back, cross, getting right around the defense. Hop, step, lay. Oh, my God goodness bro that is pro that is pro moves right there Jaden Johnson coming down with it Taj guarding him little twin spin move lay off the glass oh my goodness that was tough like come on these little plays where they gotta set a million screens just to free this nigga up gotta stop bro he's scared to bump with me for real he's swinging it up top getting it right back for a little reset taking one step in pulling up there from deep nothing but net hey in my defense I thought he was finna hit me with something bro like bro look at this we gotta stop with the ISO plays for this man Taj bro I'm telling you he keeps pulling up for those contested mid-ranges and look at this i'm just getting blown right past bro he is going crazy that do not happen often julian trying to make some shake here off a few pin downs pulling up there in the corner no good and that just has been the story for us this entire fourth quarter we've been missing easy one shots rimming out and i'm getting blown by once again he is putting his squad in the duffy this quarter has been nothing but slow for us and he has single-handedly brought this game into single digits so you know we gotta respond with something nice and easy and what is easier than a hezzy london pick and Bro, bro. And there it is. They put up a fight. Well, I should say that AJ Johnson put up a fight. He gave his entire squad a piggyback ride, but it just wasn't enough to win this one. We come up with the 66 to 73 victory, and more importantly, we leave Vegas undefeated. Now we go and see if we can keep that up because our schedule is very loaded. But hey, if you enjoyed this one, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Nazir signing out. Peace.